I'm good? Okay. Yes. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to another Zoom talk. Um, let's talk NMB. Um, we have just had some great sessions this week, and uh, the lineup is even, even more awesome for next week. Not that today's um, <laughs> person isn't awesome, but we've got some great stuff coming up next week. Um, just to lead you off, we, on Monday, we're going to have Stephen Chai Gold. He's, with, uh, he's a jet rescue air ambulance person. If you were watching the news last night, you'd have seen him involved in flying um, COVID pay, um, uh, Americans who have, who have contracted COVID-19 and they're outside of America and they've been brought back to the USA. And he's one of those who's involved in this rescue air ambulance mission. Cool thing about him is that he's a, um, he is a friend of uh, our assistant city manager, Sharon Ragunan, um, from grad school, from grad school days. And he has an interesting story that he will share um, uh, to this forum and in a world that probably we don't live every single day. Then Tuesday, we have Outback Steakhouse. On Wednesday, we have NMB uh, PD the Marine Patrol. Every weekend, I mean, people were just, um, who just want to get out to the, who have cabin fever, I just want to get on the water, since now some of the ramps are open, it's just, um, it's just a nightmare. And so we have them, um, we have NBPD that's constantly monitoring, they've joined forces with um, Sunny Isles and with Hallandale and um, just doing some great stuff on the water. They'll be here, um, They'll be here next Wednesday to tell us about the Marine Patrol and what it is that they do. On Thursday, we have N N uh, the NMB um, PD PAL program with Detectives James Moore and Cora Mann. Oh, we're going to miss them. And also with Linda Roberts, who heads up that, um, that, uh, that crew of the, of the PAL program. And then who knows, we may even see a guest appearance by Q. And then on Friday, we have NMB Water and the mascot to talk about water drop. But um, here it is. I, we're getting ready to introduce um, Edenia Hernandez. I mean, really needs no introduction. She's our uh, librarian extraordinaire who has taken over this census um, initiative as running with it. And she'll tell you today that we're up um, 40 to 49.3%. Um, and I know in a conversation I had the other day with um, Commissioner Smith, which is, what's the magical number? When do we say, yes, we're, we're, we're there, we're finally there, what's that number? You'll hear that number from Edania today based upon some calculations and discussions. I wanna recognize Commissioner Smith who has joined us. Welcome, Commissioner Smith. And um, with no further introductions, I wanna turn it over to Edania to learn of some of the cool things that she has been doing. Um, as we uh, go through this initiatives. And I know some, some of the um, uh, folks from the community who, who have been helping you with this initiative are on there. So I wanna say thank you to them for all they do for this, um, for this initiative. Great, but I'll, I'll leave it up to Edenia to do that. Edenia, it's over to you. Good afternoon. We can't hear you, you're not, still muted. Okay. There. We can hear you now. <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone. We are here outside our library. I just thought we have been able to do uh, some things in with our community that have allowed this electronically. We've just switched to doing them, uh, printing them out, doing it in a way that folks still have access to what they need. So I'm standing here because this is where we have our food assistance, uh, our SNAP applications, we have our unemployment applications, and it allows the community to come by and pick up what they need. A new extension was created for that. So folks are still uh, coming out, just not like the first few days. It was really uh, a challenge. And, um, this morning, we were celebrating Mother's Day. We had advertised uh, Mother's Day uh, story time. So now we are able, we had pictures, but uh, we're unable to, to show them. But what we did is we have crafts available and the kids are coming by. And hopefully for Sunday, they'll be able to show us what they created. 
and so we can post that for mothers. Um, and it's, uh, it's been very nice to be able to provide a connection so that we can have uh, an exchange with our community and they don't feel like they're separated from what everything else that's happening in the city. I'm coming inside because it's a little hot. Uh, we mm -hmm. wanted to show you today um, some of what our staff has been doing every Friday at 3 p.m. Uh, we have the census uh, trivia and we play along with the community. If they've done the census, we sent them out prizes or if they get some responses right to our questions. So now I'm gonna turn it to Shantiria, who's there with our team that does the trivia questions and program on Friday afternoons. Shantiria? Hello. And thank you for joining us here at NMB Library for a sample of our census tea and trivia time. So what we're going to do today is um, we're going to ask the questions. My lovely coworkers here are going to answer them. And if you get it right, we will send you your prize in interdepartmental mail or it's in U.S. mail. So you still get prizes. So first up. First I know up, all the answers, so I won't answer any of them, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unfair advantage. All right. Okay, so the census is supposed to count every U.S. resident at their usual address on April 1st census day. Who in the U.S. is not included in this count? Is it one, tourists and business travelers from other countries, two, immigrants living in the U.S. illegally, or three, newborns who haven't come home from the hospital yet? What do you think, Kathy? Which one do you think is the right answer? That is tourists and business travel. All right. Uh, yeah, I believe that's the correct answer. All right. Let's see if you guys got it right. Back in Zoomland, land. And the answer is tourists and business travels from other countries. Yay! <laughs> if you are here illegally, if your immigration status is not determined yet, please still fill out the census because you still need to be counted. The only people who are not counted are tourists and people who are here traveling on business. Everyone else needs to be counted. All right, next question. Here we go. What will the first numbers from the census be used for? So all these numbers, all the data they're collecting, what are they using it for first? Number one, find out which cities are losing population. Number two, determine how many seats each state gets in the United House, United States House of Representatives. Or number three, determine which racial groups are growing the fastest. So which one do we think it is? I think it is determine how many seats each state gets in the US. Kathy, I think it is which cities are losing population. All right. Take off your mask if they can't so hear you. Let's see close to the which one is correct. The answer is two. To determine how many seats each state gets in the U.S. House of Representatives. So, if you want to help make a difference in politics, if you want to help make sure that Florida gets the number of representatives it's supposed to have, you need to make sure that you fill out the census for you and your family and encourage your neighbors and your friends to fill it out as well. All right, next one. Oh, okay. The third question true or false? Census responses help inform how more than 675 billion with a B dollars and federal funds are spent in states and communities every year. So is this true or is this false? I believe that's true. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <big one. laughs> okay. Okay, so then I'll say I think it's true. All right. So let's see what the correct answer is. It is, of course, true. This money is used to help make schools, fire departments, libraries, Ooh. hospitals, and more in our community. So to make sure that we receive the correct allotment, to make sure that all the resources that we need for our city are made available to us, 
We need to make sure that everyone in our city is counted. So it's really important. We all use our schools, we all use our fire departments, we all use our hospitals. So we need to make sure that we are all counted so we have the right information to get the right amount of money from the federal government. All right? All right, next question. What percentage of households in the U.S. had a computer at home in 2017? Do we think it's 50%, 70%, or 90%? What do you think? I think it's 50%. Let's say 90%. All right, so how many people in the U.S. had a computer in 2017? 90% of households in the U.S. had a computer in 2017. And that is important because this is the first time the census has added a respond online option, which is great because it only takes a few minutes to complete. You don't have to worry about making it to the mailbox. You can do it and you immediately receive a confirmation number once you're done. So make sure if you can fill it out online. It's fast, it's simple, and the questions are not hard at all. All right, next question. Which of the following groups is most likely to be missed by the census count? Is it number one, white homeowners, number two, young children, or number three, older adults? So this is the group the least likely to be counted. Um, I think probably older. Right. I think it's young children. So the correct answer is young children. It is so important that young children are counted because we use these numbers for the next 10 years. They help inform um, what schools are built, uh, after school programs, preschool programs. So if we don't count these kids now, we have to wait another 10 years. So please make sure even newborns, the tiny, tiny babies, please make sure that they are counted for the census, okay? All right, next question. The next question can be answered, give them a chance to answer. All right, okay. So for the last one, can you hand me the red one? Okay, so which response category will be new on the 2020 census forms. So if you've already filled out your census, you have an unfair advantage and you should use it because you did the right thing, you filled it out. All right, so is it number one, same-sex spouse, number two, Middle East, North African origin, or number three, a box for gender other than male or female? So which one is a new question? And remember, if you filled it out, you got it right. So we're gonna give you a minute to think about it. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> All right. See, I don't see an answer. Tell them to submit an answer. Come on, guys, look at the prizes. On. We have cool prizes. We have these awesome water bottles that we're giving out. We also have these snacks top where you can I think I see um I think I see um, Commissioner Kramer's hand up. She wants to answer that. I don't want to recognize her because she's just joined. Um, well, in a few minutes ago, she joined um, the conference, but uh, right, her hand so is up. I think she wants to answer answering. this question. No, no, no. I'm not answering that question. My hand's up for a question later. Sorry. I see oh, okay. in the middle of a game. So we do and have I'm, a winner uh, first. All right. Playing. We have a winner, <laughs> Andrew Plotkin. No? <laughs> we'll send your prize anyway. You were willing to go out there. Nobody else stepped out on faith, so you did. So you get a prize anyway. And the answer is same-sex spouse. That is the new question that is on the census that has not been on there before. So we can make sure that everyone is represented. Go. So, he says to resource. Okay, so take Miss Commissioner Kramer's question. All right, Commissioner Kramer, what's your question? Well, this is just a question in regards, not to the census itself, but things that I think that we could do as a city to promote more of the census during the COVID-19 um, situation where everybody's really staying at home and, and still not paying attention because we need to get higher than 50%. So would you like to hear? 
Yes, we love it. Okay, so I have an idea. You know how everyone, we've been doing these wonderful birthday parades? I think our city, we need to do a parade around our different neighborhoods. Um, we can certainly have a, a caravan. We can have census information that we can maybe oh, hand yes. out. I think we could blow horns, have music. Um, we can have the different commissioners in their cars, maybe residents yes. with their names, the the committees, um, and and really tell people and yell out with a mega uh, a megaphone how important it is to to fill out that census. So, uh, commissioner, we have uh, our complete count committee uh, had the same idea, and we have it in the works. We're actually waiting on the signage to come in. Great. Uh, Greg Williams from the Public Affairs lined up the megaphone for us. So we, we are putting it together. We are just waiting on some materials that were requested to come in so we could put banners on the vehicles. And we even have additional prices that the center gave to us to give away. And we'll mm -hmm. be going out with a hotspot so that we'll be able to do some interaction. If there comes the opportunity, we can do someone's census in place as well. Okay, great. Well, I'm oh, glad. Yeah. That's awesome. I look forward to being a part of that. Thank you. And everyone have a great weekend and happy Mother's Day. And don't forget to look up in about 10 minutes. Yes, yes we've got 10 minutes to wrap this up. 10 minutes to wrap it up or less than 10 to wrap it up. We want to celebrate this weekend. You're ready. One more question. Well, I have an idea. The Commissioner what Smith is, is on. Well, well my name is. I am a second. You are Commis now. <laughs> Commissioner I Smith wants as a quick. Commissioner I just have one. Let her, you want her to do her, her question first? You got the mic, Commissioner Smith. Go. Okay. Well, uh, every place you, you go, like every you place you go. People want to have their picture taken with all these characters. That's the biggest thing on television and with everybody closed, the teachers are dressing up, the librarians are dressing up for the kids. Why don't we try to make a, a some kind of costume that's a census costume from now till the end of the census, a crazy thing on our head or whatever, and everybody will come running to have their picture taken with their mask or it'll just be known as the census character. Well, we do have Libby the library cat. She's our mascot that we have full time here. And uh, we can use Libby the library cat for census. Maybe we can have her wear the census hat and t-shirt and t-shirt <laughs> and then she can go around and uh, especially when we do the parade, um, go out and wave to the kids and throw out the prizes as well. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, Commissioner Smith. I know we've got like about four or five minutes left. I want to turn it over. I think Ketley's a, um, had her hand up. Hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Hey, Danny, I have a question. As I'm filling up the census and getting these phone calls, uh, some of the residents who are calling me are saying they already filled up the census and mailed it, but are getting new applications. So what is going on? And if they end up filling it out, are they being double counted or one of those applications being rejected? So which one is it? Okay, so the problem I believe, Kat, that, that oh, put it all the mail to go out at one time on the post office. And they had a cycle for things to go out. So things were going out in uh, the first week. Well, some folks got all three items at one time. Um, the, and now I know I filled mine out and I'm still getting the forms. So if you've completed it, you don't have to do it again. Okay, that's what I, I'm telling them. So the, the, the confusion there, should they fill it out again? And I'm telling them, no, don't fill it out again. Uh, so once they do it and mail it, that's it. They should, you know, should receive it. Everything should be fine. I think the Census Bureau just paid for one bulk mailing. And that's what's happening. People are getting it no matter what. 
Okay. Okay, Thank cool. You. Thank you, Kathleen. I think I saw Commissioner um, Kramer's hand again. Am I correct? Okay, fine. Uh, back to you, Edania. We're down to about three minutes. I know we have got a magical number for today. And I know we've got, oh, I heard two minutes. Well, I heard <laughs> we have a magical number for today. And that question that I had raised before, like when can we really breathe that probably we're there? Uh, we can possibly breathe when we get to 73 to 76%. But we will not stop breathing until we see. We want to get as many as possible. So we want 100% participation. That's right. 100 <laughs> or bust. Yes. That's right. <laughs> we don't want bust. We want 100%. Um, so we've heard some great ideas today. We have learned a lot. I knew all of the answers, of course, as you can in the cheat sheet. <laughs> but it's We'll stop. send you a consolation prize. Yes. For Please. not answering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any other any other stuff we, you want to share with us, Eden, before we wrap up, or any other um, questions you want to ask in this short period of time? And I'm sorry, we're just happy to go see the Blue Angels. It's something different to do today. Let everyone know that. Even though it may, uh, even may though look that we, not as much is happening. We right just here. completed a video that uh, was submitted last night to the Census Bureau on a, on a challenge. In the census, and the video was, oh, it's time. Okay. Well, we, it's out there, and we're creating more videos so that uh, it, they go out in the newscast. Thank you yeah, very much. And that Thank video you, is how long, Edenia? Edenia is a winner. Edenia, thank yes. you. You're a winner. I'm a winner? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Thank you. Well, <laughs> hey. I'm not going to win until I see those numbers. Well, there you are. I'm the hardest critic on myself. I'm okay. Bad. Well, listen, thank you. I know you thank were you. shortened, but it, I know it's for a good reason. We're gonna hit the rooftop now. We're gonna see yes. the blue angels. Let's go We're see the celebrate angels. for everything it is. Woo! Take care. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Day. Oh yes, yeah, so yeah, Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day. 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 Day.